اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم how to report moderation analysis in this session i'm going to discuss how to report moderation analysis from amos and smart pls now what do we need to report moderation analysis we need r square values we need path coefficient that is estimates t statistics p values we need f square Now with regard to the interaction effect the f square effect size indicates how much the moderation contributes to the explanation of endogenous construct and this can be calculated using this formula Now in smart pls we do not need to calculate f square manually but when we are using amos we need to calculate f square manually Now how do we calculate it i'm just going to look into it And finally we need the slope analysis Now before we go on let's see how do we calculate the f square using amos so the first thing that you need is this is the model and the formula requires r square included r square excluded by r square included we mean that our interaction term should be part of the model like this and by excluded we mean that we should delete it and just look at the impact of these exogenous variables that is your iv and your moderator without the moderating effect r square included and r square excluded they are subtracted so r square excluded minus r square included divided by 1 minus r square included r square excluded means that this interaction term is not part of the analysis so let's delete it for now so if we click here delete it make sure in amos you've got squared multiple correlation selected just run it and here it is 0.35 and if you include let's include it here it is Let's draw the covariances. Let's polish it a bit. Let's add the effect, and that's it. Now, if you run the model, and that is 0.41 with the inclusion of interaction term. So once you've got R square excluded 0.350, R square included 0.413, you simply put it in this formula and you will get your F square. You simply subtract R square included minus R square excluded divided by 1 minus R square included. So 0.413 minus 0.31350, you will get 0.063 divided by 0.587, you will get F square. Now based on Kenny 2018 proposition that 0.005, 0.01 and 0.025 respectively constitute small medium and large effect size for moderation in this case it's a large effect size this shows that there is a large contribution of the moderation effect in explaining the endogenous construct now that you've got f square now how do you get f square in smart pls once you run bootstrapping you come here f square and here is your f square size so the f square size is 0.024 and in light of kenny proposition it is medium now that you've got f square effect sizes in both amos and smart pls let's look at the interpretation so the first thing that you need to do is you need to write moderation analysis you can present moderation as separate heading or separate section this is what i normally prefer so your hypothesis role ambiguity moderates the positive relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance now this is not enough just to say that it moderates you need to explain how it moderates such that increased role ambiguity weakens the positive relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance now that you have proposed your hypothesis or identified your hypothesis the first thing that you need to do is the study assess the moderating role of role ambiguity ra 
on the relationship between collaborative culture, CC and organizational performance. Without the inclusion of moderating effect, the R square value was 0 0.350. Here it is, 0 0.350. I've taken the results from AMOS. This shows that 35% change in organizational performance is accounted by RA and RC. Now with the inclusion of the interaction term, the R square increased to 0.413 when converted to percentage, it was 41.3%. This shows an increase of 6.3% if you subtract the two values, 0.413 minus 0.350, you will get 0 0.063. Now this shows that an increase of 6.3% in variance explained in the dependent variable OP with the inclusion of the moderating effect. Now where is this R square in case of smart PLS? So it's just, look at this, this is the R square included with the moderating effect. Now if you remove it and run your model again like this, and if you run it, PLS algorithm, and here is your R square excluded. And here is your R square included. Let's run it again, let's do bootstrapping. I'm just going to keep it simple. And meanwhile it runs, let's go back here. Now that you have done this, now this results or these results are based on AMOS. You can simply replace the values of R square from your smart PLS and do it again, just simply subtract it and report it as is. Now further, once you've reported the R square change, further significance of moderating effect was analyzed. The results revealed a negative and significant moderating impact of RA on the relationship between CC and OP. How do I know that whether it was significant or not? You simply go get your output here. Here it is, estimates, and look at this. This is negative and it is significant. The T value critical ratio is greater than 1.96. So if you come back here, here it is. These results support H1. This shows that with an increase in role ambiguity, the relationship between CC and OP is weakened. Why it's weakened? Because your beta is negative. Moderation analysis summary is presented in table one. Here is your table one. So you need to present these results when you are testing moderation. Your independent variable affecting the dependent variable, your moderator affecting the dependent variable, and your moderating effect affecting the dependent variable and you simply copy these results from here. Now you can simply copy these results from your smart PLS results as well. Once you do bootstrapping, here are the results. Your original sample, your standard error, your t-statistics, your p-values. Simply copy them and put them here. Now when you are testing moderation, obviously you need your IV and DV, the relationship that is being moderated, its beta value, its, its standard error, t-value, p-value, the impact of moderator on the DV within the relationship that is being tested and then most importantly the moderating effect. Again moving on, further slope analysis is presented to better understand the nature of moderating effect. Where is my slope analysis? Here it is, figure 1. Now I'm going to explain this. How? As shown in figure 1, the line is much steeper for low roll ambiguity. Look at this line, low roll ambiguity. It's much steeper, the blue line, it is steeper in comparison to this red line. This red line is a straightening which shows high roll ambiguity. This blue line is low roll ambiguity. So this steepness of the gradient here, this shows that at low level of roll ambiguity, the impact of CC on OP is much stronger in comparison to high RA. So look at this. So if you've got low roll ambiguity, look at the relationship between CC and OP. So with an increase of CC at low roll ambiguity, there is a tendency that organizational performance increases. But when the roll ambiguity is high, although you are increasing the collaborative culture, that is your CC, the OP is not increasing in a similar fashion as it was with low roll ambiguity. This low roll ambiguity is steeper. This shows that the relationship between CC and OP is much stronger when you've got low roll ambiguity. Whereas there is hardly any relationship, although this could be significant, we haven't tested that, but at high roll ambiguity, look at this line, straightening. Although you are increasing co collaborative culture, but your organizational performance is not, not, not changing that strongly. However, in low role ambiguity, it is changing strongly with an increase in collaborative culture. 
So at higher roll ambiguity, the line tends to straighten. This shows that at higher roll ambiguity, the increase in CC does not lead to a similar change in the OP as it was the case with low roll ambiguity, much steeper. In conclusion, higher roll ambiguity weakens the impact of CC on OP. Finally, your F square that we calculated earlier is presented here. F square effect size was 0.107. According to Kenny, proposition 0 0.005, 0 0.01 and 0 0.025 constitute small, medium and large effect sizes of moderation respectively. This is a large moderating effect. Hence, it is confirmed that there is a large negative moderation effect experienced in the model stating that RA weakens the relationship between CC and OP. So this is how you can report your moderation analysis. You start with your Hypothesis, the R square included and excluded, the significance test, the slope analysis, the F square effect size, the table with all the possible relationships, although this might not be necessary. But again, if you are testing the individual relationships, then you can report it as well. And finally, your slope analysis. Thank you very much.